Hello, uh, today we will take a look at the look at how to do VMware property filter programming. I will not go into details, syntax details, but I will try to give an overview. This has been daunting for a lot of beginners because of the recursive use of uh, object specs and uh, selection specs and things like that. So we'll try to just uh, go into details. Uh, if we t if we look at the realist um, you know real world applications, right? So why do we really want to get some specific data um, instead of getting whole data? Uh, say for example, if you are developing uh, a bare metal provisioning application for your company, uh, then you would want to pull only the data which is relevant to you. For example, in this case, uh, you you might be interested to get only server related information to into your application. Uh, so even though there is a whole lot of data in the VMware database, uh, you you want to you want to get server related information and probably data center uh, and folder cluster related information also because especially folders and data centers uh, will show you the the hierarchy the containment of the of the servers themselves. Uh, so. Uh, similarly, if you are a network provisioning application, then you would uh, you would want to get um, information like what are the port groups you have, what kind of vSwitches, how many vSwitches are there, and things like that. So in this case, let's go with the assumption that we are dealing with a bare metal uh, provisioning application. Uh, so we will only try to get uh, folders, data centers, uh, clusters, and hosts from the vCenter uh, inventory. Okay, now uh, let's get to property filter. You know, if if we take an analogy, probably it will be much easier to understand. Um, I don't know how how well it fits, but this is what I thought. Like, uh, if you go to a shopping mall um, and you want to shop for some items there, then you want to uh, you want to decide. Like, let's say if I go to a uh, clothing store, uh, then what what clothes I want to get. Um, and if I if I go to an electronic store, what are the things I want to get? And uh, so every time you visit uh, you visit some store, you have to decide. You will decide what you want to get. So similarly, in in the in the VMware property filter world, there is something called property spec, which says that okay, when when I hit when I want to get an inventory, if I see uh, if I see a managed object of type. Uh, Say for example, host system. What, what, what properties I want to fetch? You know, so it basically says for a given MO type, what what is that I want to get? So property spec is probably simple to understand. It tells you like what is that you will get. Um, but the second thing you have to really decide in the shopping mall case is what stores you really want to visit, right? Um, you, you you could you could hit like hundreds of stores in the malls but probably you don't want to go to all the hundred stores and you might also want to decide like how to actually go if you take a look at the shopping mall map it will tell how, how to actually traverse to these stores you know and the traversal spec is uh, in the same thing you know uh, in, in the big tree of inventory tree you will decide how how do you want to traverse these objects okay so let's uh, uh, let's get to specifics now um, in the property filter case so th the best way to attack this is to first write the property specs um, they, they, it is easy to do that so let's start with the easy stuff uh, as I said uh, first we have to we want to get the uh, whenever you look at uh, whenever you get a folder we want to get some information out of the folder so this is a property spec for a folder and uh, you will you will give it some name and uh, you will specify the type as folder and uh, so you have to really tell what properties you want to get so typically you will get like you will get parent you will get name you will uh, yeah the child entity is the is the main uh, main property which which allows you to traverse into into the nested folders so for a folder typically this is what we want to get and uh, and there is also something like get all or not so in this case we don't want to get all the properties we don't got, want to get all the junk so is uh, that will be false and uh, 
Yeah, this is pretty much it. You know, these are the three important things I would say if, in a property spec. And uh, so if you were to write, if you were to encounter, encounter a data center, then probably you want to get the parent, you want to get a name, and the other, the most important thing for this bare metal provisioning application is we want to actually go into host folder. And because this is where all your clusters are inside the data center. Um, so the, so we, we have to actually get the compute resource, which, which is actually represents a cluster. So we have to write a property spec for compute resource. And uh, for compute resource, we want to get parent and uh, host. Actually, inside the host, um, uh, the host property holds all the server-related information. So we want to get the host here. And finally, when you actually hit the host system, uh, you want to get the the parent and the name of the host. So this this actually represents your bare metal or the ESX box or whatever it is. So in a real in a real world, probably you want to get more like UUIDs, identities, and things like that. But for our case, this this will work. Now, so so these are four uh, four property filters here. You put them in an array, and and you can it, these are ready to use. So property filter is a little bit easier.